praise God. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1. We know that so many people don't understand that without love it's impossible to please God. Some people think they can please God and don't have no love in their heart. It doesn't work that way. But the way of love is that it doesn't hurt nobody. God bless you. It doesn't envy nobody. It doesn't use nobody. But if we all are members in the body of Christ, we all should have love. We all should have understanding. We all should have compassion for one another. And what's so sad about it is that so many people don't have compassion. They look you dead in your face and ain't got no love for you. They don't like you. They act like they like you, but they really don't like you. Why? Because you got the banner of Christ written on your forehead. You see, the devil knows who's sealed by the redemption of Christ. If, if, and if people like you all the time, there's something wrong with your seal. Because the enemy don't like people with the seal of God upon them or in their head. And that's Bible. It's in Revelation. Amen. We're not waiting to be sealed. We are sealed until the day of until the day of redemption. Till we are roused again in heaven, we are sealed. Our fate is sealed. Everybody's fate is sealed. It's been sealed from the beginning of time to now. There's nothing new under the sun. God knows the beginning from the end. So everybody has been sealed for their set course in, in the life. He knows who's going to go to hell. He knows who's going to go to heaven. There's no, I don't know if you're going to make it in or not. He knows. God knows. And one of the things that's important is if you got love, then you seal with love attributes. And a lot of people don't have love attributes. Because if you have love attributes, you wouldn't be hurting your brother or sister. You wouldn't be talking about them. You wouldn't be downgrading them. You wouldn't be moving away from them. You wouldn't be not listening to them. Those things are not love. Love is caring no matter what the person is doing or what the person is saying. You still got to show compassion. You got to get respect, but you also got to show compassion. I guarantee you, Jesus didn't like everything that was going on, but he still went through Samaria and did his work. He didn't stay away from it because it was unholy or unrighteous, just like I was speaking about Lot. Same thing with Lot. He's living in this town where there's so much sexual immorality. But he's still there. It's not like he went out there and started beating everybody up because they were doing unsteamily things. He just prayed and stayed silent as long as it didn't touch him. He protected his family. He kept the family away from the Sodom and Gomorrah. But as far as telling, stopping them, he didn't. <clears throat> and in love, you cannot stop people from doing what they want to do. All you can do is tell them, and sometimes you don't even got to tell them because they know what they're doing. You're hurting yourself by telling people stuff that they already know is wrong. If you if you know somebody know what they're doing is wrong, why keep bothering them? On, they man. must be comfortable in it. Amen. And that's not love, but I love them, so I'm going to keep putting no, that's, them. That's bothering them. That's just being nosy and being Amen. in their business. If you love them, you will leave them alone. Some people you gotta leave to their own devices. And they'll find out how bad it is. And how much they need help. Amen. But without love, you can't serve you can't serve God. You can't satisfy the things of God. So you gotta really take this love thing serious because uh you, you got many titles but not love. Or they have love for this one or that one, but not for everybody. If you don't have love for everybody, then you don't have a you shouldn't have that title. Because that title represents God. And if it represents God, it represents every attribute of God. And if God is ever loving, then you got to be ever loving if you got a title. So pastors should be loving one to another. Wow. They should not be angry or bitter or mean. It's sad when you see a pastor defeated. Something wrong with that picture. Amen. And I've seen many pastors that are defeated and sad and and just don't know what to do for some reason. That's that's not right. Only thing I can tell them is check your love level. That's what you need to do. Check your love level. There must be something wrong with the way you loving people. There must be something wrong with the way you're treating people. Because if you love the way God say love, everything should work out the way it should. 
Even the 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 why would you say the disrespect will be cool with you. Because you got love. This is why Jesus was teaching to any other cheek. Because it's cool with me. That don't mean we could do it all the time. I turn on the cheek by ducking. Just don't let it connect. You gotta have common sense. That don't mean I gotta hit you back. I just gotta make sure you don't hit me. And I move back, then I walk away from you. But that don't mean I'm gonna stand there and let you do anything you want to. You see, we, we learned this. We have love, but we also have responsibility to our bodies. And that's not to let our bodies be destroyed by other people. Nor by ourselves. So we are in control of our body. So even though you love me and I love you, that don't mean I'm let you abuse me. Because I have to take control of my body. What hurts me hurts God. And if I let you hurt me, then you hurting God. I'm not going to let that happen. So I got to avoid that kind of situation. But I still love you. I will still talk with you. I will still commit, you know, be around you. But I'm not going to let you hurt me. Come on. So you could be defensive and still be in, in fellowship with people. Then because they're your enemy doesn't I mean you have to be away from them. And you got some people saying, well, go 10 feet away from them. You don't have to if you if you got God. Because God will fight your battle. That's why he said he prepared for a table in the presence of your enemy. You at that table, you're not way back here for hiding. <laughs> <laughs> you there with your enemy. That's right. But this says right here, listen to the way of love. Verse 1, though I speak with the tongue of men, and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gifts of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have the faith, I have all faith, so that I could move mountains and have not love, I am nothing. Listen to what they're saying. You can do all this and still not have love. That's something. And, you know, I'm trying to ask God to change my, my demeanor of how I bring forth the word because people are copying this message, you know. And they, they start to do things like I do things. And I'm like, Lord, you know, I, sometimes I, I feel it's all right. But then again, you know, it, it, they copying me. I mean, come on, Lord. I'm doing it this way. Now everybody want to do it this way. You know, that's what happened at the Tower of Babel. Everybody was speaking uh, 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 the same language, and he had to. No, they can't do it all the same way. Everybody have a different tongue down. You know, then they started babbling. <laughs> Nobody understood anybody, but now everybody want to do. But it's all right. Keep copying. It, it, it might work for you. It should work for you. I pray it work for you. But um, God gonna flip it. Amen. He's gonna flip it. So, so listen to that. You can do all these things and not have love. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, so other words, and this is true because the devil can speak in tongues and not, and he don't have love. The devil can prophesy and don't have love. Amen. The devil can make a mountain move out of a mirage to That's you right. and don't have love. That's right. So you could have these things done and not have love. That means it won't be effective for you when you get in there. You're speaking real good. You know what he's gonna say? That part for me. I knew you not, you workers of iniquity. He's going to say, well, have I not prophesied? Have I not moved mountains? Have I not spoken tongues? Have I not? Yeah, you have, but not in the yeah. name of God. Amen. You had no love in your heart. So be careful. Just because you have the, the power of God, make sure you have the love of God. Wow. Some people have the power and not the love. So everything you're doing is in vain. And they have a song that say, don't let my living be in vain. Don't let my living be in vain. Am I wasting my time? You need to ask yourself that sometime. Am I just partial? Do I love this sister and not this brother? Can I put up with this brother and not this sister? Can I sit next to the alcoholic and the drug addict? Or do I just sit with the drug addict because the alcoholic smell and the drug addict don't got no smell? Mm. What on. kind of love is that? Come on. You got to help everybody. 
You got to love everybody. You can't be selfish in what you're doing. But what I want you to get to understand, this guy here, the Bible in here says, I have all faith. That means he has every faith there is. So you can have faith and don't have love. That's crazy. That means you're not doing nothing for God with the unloving faith. Amen? Amen. That's what he's saying. You're not doing nothing for me with the unloving faith. Uh -huh. In order for things to work the way God wanted to work, you got to have love. And then you read further, it's going to tell you what love really is. Love don't envy. Love don't kill. Love don't steal. Love don't hurt. Love don't bear false witness. All those things love do not do. Love comes to church. Love does not stay home. If you love God, you will come to church. If you love your wife, you will go home to her. If you love your girlfriend, you will go to them. If you love your spouse, your friend, you go to them. So if you love God, why you don't go to his house? So then you're serving him without love for him. Because if you love him, then you would love to always be in his presence and in the doors is open in church. You should never not come if you love God. You will go everywhere else that you, you don't love them people, but you will go to them. But you, you, you said you love God, but you won't go to His house. You won't go to His church, but you love Him. But you will go everywhere else. Wow. Other words, you love your your job more than you love God, because you're always there for the hours. You come to God house, you're the only two. But you love Him. Amen. This is why he said it's scarcely what a righteous man make it in. Scarcely. By the skin of their teeth will they make it in. Why? Because their love is not right. Wow. It's not whole. I love when I got coffee. I don't love when I don't. Wow. Can you walk to church if you love God? You will walk to that woman. <laughs> or that woman will walk to that man. They might swim the ocean to get to them. That's right. But you won't do that for God. And he got eternal life. You don't know who you might help when you come through that door. You don't know who might smile when they see you. But because you don't have love, you won't come. Love is not selfish. Mm -hmm. So if you're selfish, where's your love? This is mine. This is mine. You can't have none of this. This is mine. I'm done. You can't have none. Where's Come your on. love? Come on, Pastor. Amen. It might seem cynical. It might seem earthly, but it's real. Amen. This is real because we live in the earth and we we have a heavenly body, but we live on earth. So on earth, we got to deal with earth things. And one of the things in earth is selfishness. Is not love. You got to be able to give if you love. Uh -huh. Give up your time. Hey. Give up your time. Wow. Stop playing around. Don't fall asleep in church. Sleep at home. Amen. Give God your attention. He deserves your attention. You should be attentive more in the house of the Lord than you are at work. Come on, First thing they teach you, teach me however, at the jobs I had was safety. First thing I learned was how they get out the building. <laughs> In case of an emergency, this is the exit. Never forget, this is how you get out. That's right. Oh, safety. Safety. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's what he wanted me to say. Safety is in the church. That's right. You should pay attention to coming to church, knowing what's where and what's what, because you love to know God. If you love God, you will read his word 24-7. You will stay in that Bible. I read the word so much because I love the hunger for righteousness. I hunger for the word. You got to hunger for the word of God or else you're in trouble. You got to hunger. In other words, you got to be hungry for it. You ever, you've been hungry for food before. Couldn't wait for dinner. Couldn't wait for lunch when you was younger. Mom, I'm hungry, hungry. That's how you got to be for the word of God. You got to be hungry for it. And you cannot be satisfied. Still can't wait for those who get you because that, that Bible hunger cannot satisfy you. Because you should always want more. 
You should not say, I'm full now. No, I want dessert. I want to overstuff myself when it comes to the word of God. That's right. All these skinny Christians. <laughs> they're not eating enough. Wow, that's Malnutrition. In the spirit. <laughs> they malnutrition in the spirit. Because they're not feeding their spirit. Their body is like this, but when God look at their spirit, it's like skinny. And it's like that's where your God is. Your God is your stomach. But not your spirit. We need to fill our spirit up. And refill it. Eat more Bible than you do food. Don't balance it out. Give more to God. We don't need to balance it out. Talking about in moderation. The devil is a liar. I read my word in moderation. You suck. In moderation, everything in moderation, so I read my word in moderation. Mm -mm. Read your word without ceasing. Keep reading it. Don't need no moderation. Just read it. Understand it. Prove it. Pray about it. We have verse 3. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, it working. And <laughs> that's crazy. And though I give my body to be burnt. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I can have all the love in the world, but I don't think I want to burn myself. I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta be a good steward of my Bible. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 3. I gotta be a good steward of my body. So I could not give my body to be burned and say, Lord, I'm unjustified. Uh-uh. But this is a metaphor. Even though I will give my body to be burned and have not love, it profited for me nothing. Charity suffers long. You want to suffer five minutes and you leave the church. Don't let it go on for a week. You're gone. Join another party just to suffer over there. Worse than here. The Bible said many are the afflictions of the righteous. Why? Because he loves us. He loves us so much he afflicts us. That's kind of strange for someone to understand. How could a loving God afflict you? Because he loved you that much. Wow. He wants you to pray. Wow. And give him your attention. And he seems like the only way you call on me is when I afflict you. I get afflicted and I still call on him. When I don't get afflicted, I call on him. Why? Because I love the Lord. So, you know, the Lord is showing me some people just ain't going to change. That's where you get that long suffering from. I'm sitting there and I'm praying to the Lord. I'm like, Lord, why does this happen all the time? Why do these people keep doing this and keep doing that? Why don't they just change? He said, because they can't. Some people just won't and can't change. They're sealed. Their faith has just been sealed by their self. So they refuse to change. They refuse to get right. They refuse to do what they're supposed to do. And it's sad. But he said, son, I just want you to be long-suffering with them. So what he's saying is even though they're still in their sin, it's just like as if they're in the hospital dying. you at their bedside. Stay there and suffer with them. You understand the metaphor? You're at the bedside of somebody terminally ill. You got to stay there and you got to sit there and suffer with them and wait with them till they get it together and stay with them. And that's what he's saying. You got to be long-suffering with these sinful folks. Even the same sinful folk. Wow. Same sinful yeah, this is where he's pushing me up there. A same sinful folk. You got to be long suffering with their foolishness, thinking you don't know better, thinking you can't see it, thinking you don't know what's going on, thinking you 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 weak. 
But because of the love of God, you can see right through them and still let them be foolish. Wow. Yeah. You can see right through them and still let them be foolish. They still think I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't know why. God has proven himself mighty and he's going to still prove himself mighty. Yeah? So why do you think I'm foolish and still want to play? People still play games for no reason. It's not like you got to play these games. You just play these games because you just want to. And that's not love. Love is understanding they're going to play these games. Love is understanding they're going to play Love is, a, I'm going to go there, allowing it. That's the hardest thing for these pastors nowadays. To allow someone just to beat them. It's so hard for people to just allow you to be you. Instead of wanting you to be everything they want you to be. Instead of just be yourself. It's hard for that. People should let you be yourself. No matter what it is, be yourself. That's the kind of love God has. God loves us so much that he allows us to be us. He don't, he don't try to make you something you're not. He don't try to force you to do that. He said just be yourself. Come as you are. Be who you are. Why play around and be something you ain't? Amen? Amen? Why play around and be something you're not? Be who you are in Christ. But you know, I want y'all to really get that. <laughs> Even though I give my body and verse me to be burned. See, now this is when you got to get to the theology part of it. This is when you got to get into the head of Apostle Paul. See, when you get into the head of Apostle Paul, you will see that he was dealing with the time where it was burning for. The time where they were hanging for. Crucifying for. So what he's seeing is he's speaking out of his mind. Jesus. So, hallelujah. We thank God for that. Amen. He's speaking out of his mind. See, the devil comes in many ways and he will try to distort or distract God when he's speaking. There ain't no need for all that. The devil could have just sat right there. He had to come riding all around. But he wanted to do foolishness. So this is what I mean by seeing with love the enemy. You got to pick this stuff up. See, now that I said it, the devil know I see it. He won't do it again. Because I'm going to catch him. I'm going to tell you, this is 2014. It's getting real. This message that he's sending right now is powerful. And if you don't get it, you left behind. Literally left behind. Because people come in to pass you from where you are. Because you didn't get it. Body to be burnt and had not charity, it probably would mean nothing. So this means some people probably sent themselves to be burnt. Okay. In these days, people were saying, burn me. I guess. I believe. Say this. I give my body to be burned. So then, in other words, somebody must have been given their body to be burned. I just got it. You remember the 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 the, um, the God in the Old Testament? Mm -hmm. Belial and all the other ones, they used to take their children and burn their children. They give their body to be burned as a sacrifice. Yes, yes. So though I give my body to be burned and I have not love, some people was given their body to be burned as a sacrifice for whatever they wanted, rain or sun or corn or money. 
Their child was being burnt. This is Bible.